Yeah. The other um, topic that seems to be recurring when I speak to people is uh, uh, they don't agree that you should have been fired, but they say that you've done the same thing uh, to them uh, for speaking out uh, or for exercising the right to criticize or things like that. Uh, Jerry Dixon, uh, are you familiar with, you're familiar with that situation? Do you feel you dealt with herself, Bruce Reader, uh, fairly? Well, you know, I felt I did, yes. Were they let go because uh, they were critical of you or the school? Um, I think they are critical of the vision that I had for the school of growing the school very rapidly. And I understand that. Or in general, do you feel you've dealt with people fairly? I think, um, I'm, in my own mind and with my faculty, yes. Sure. Uh, do you feel these actions were necessary or do you regret uh, any of these? No, I don't regret what I did. I think the most important thing is when you have a school and the marching orders to the new founding director is to grow the school, to give the school national and international reputation, I think that's very important. And you mentioned marching orders, that's what I was wondering. The mandate to expand the school, was that your idea or was that Peter McKinnon's idea? Well, I think that... clearly it, was, it came from Peter McKinnon. He wanted a successful independent school. Uh, he believed that we should get a higher recognition in Canada. And, he, and most people believe we should, internationals, our school have an international reputation. Henceforth, the, the amount of students in the program. Right. I think the greatest criticism I've gotten was I grew the school too fast, right. you know, to be honest with you. Uh, and when you grow a school quickly, you have growing pains. And I think part of the discontent that um, you've, you've listened to is the, the discontent of growing pains. Right. Uh, do you feel that's the, the crux of a lot of the I criticism? I really do. Yeah.